Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in. I'm Emily, the home bookkeeper, and on this channel, I help business owners and fellow freelance bookkeepers navigate the ever-changing QuickBooks Online, while also sharing insightful videos on all things business ownership and finance. As always, this is a sample company provided by QuickBooks for educational purposes only. In today's video, I'll guide you through the process of how to record a deposit in QuickBooks Online. First, you'll receive and place checks from customers in the undeposited funds account. Then you'll group and combine checks from that account with non-customer checks to create a single deposit. Finally, you'll record cash back and then print your bank deposit. Before recording a deposit, you must record the receipt of customer checks as undeposited funds. In new QuickBooks Online accounts, it has a default name of Payments to Deposit, which I demonstrated in my previous video. My prior tutorial on how to receive payments covers how to record the receipt of checks from customers when an invoice was issued while my guide on how to create online sales receipts shows how to record the receipt when no invoice was issued. You can think of the undeposited funds account in QuickBooks as a temporary holding area, such as a cabinet or an envelope, just as you might collect checks from customers and keep them in a drawer until you're ready to deposit them in the bank, you can record those payments in QuickBooks and assign them to the undeposited funds account. Once you're ready to deposit the payments to your bank, you can transfer the total amount from the undeposited funds account to your bank account in QuickBooks. This is like taking the checks out of the drawer and bringing them to the bank for deposit. To create a new deposit, click the white plus new button above the left-hand side toolbar and then select bank deposit from the far right column, other, as shown on the screen. Next, you have to complete the bank deposit form, which consists of several sections and fields. To help you understand how to complete the bank deposit screen better, let's use this scenario. You received a check from a client named Cool Cars for 1600 and some change and another from Freeman Sporting Goods for $387 for services rendered. And you wish to deposit the checks into your ABC Bank Business Checking Account. Here is how you record the deposit. Choose a bank account and input the date of the deposit in the top portion of the bank deposit screen. In my case, I selected checking. While QuickBooks allows you to choose current asset accounts, such as prepaid expenses, it would be very unusual to do so. Be sure to select the bank account where you'll be depositing the funds. Then scroll down to the next section, which allows you to choose the customer checks that will be included in the deposit. QuickBooks Online provides a list of checks you have received from customers and placed into undeposited funds. All of the information on this screen is carried over from when you recorded the receipt of the payment. Place a check mark next to each customer that will be included in this deposit, and then scroll down to add any non-customer checks in the next step. On the screen, you can see that I placed a check mark next to Cool Cars, and Freeman Sporting Goods. However, you may also select other checks if you wish to deposit them into your bank. The next section of the bank deposit screen allows you to add checks that are excluded in the undeposited funds. Generally, these are non-customer checks, such as tax refunds, insurance proceeds, or vendor refunds. The bottom of the bank deposit screen allows you to record any cash back you receive from the deposit. This can happen if you are depositing a check that is greater than the amount you need to deposit and the bank returns the excess amount to you in cash. If you receive cash back at the time of the deposit, then you must specify the amount 
and an account or category. Any cash back will reduce the deposit recorded in your check register to match the actual deposit on your bank statement. If you're making the deposit in person, I recommend printing a deposit summary to give to the teller. To do this, click on the print button at the bottom of the screen and select deposit summary. Be sure to click on the green save and close or save in new button to complete the deposit. As the overall best small business accounting software, QuickBooks Online helps you keep your bank transactions accurate and updated, which is one of the tenets of good bookkeeping. Recording deposits in QuickBooks Online is crucial as it helps you keep track of your cash flow by providing an accurate record of the money coming into your business. This is true even for deposits that aren't income, such as investments by the business owner. For more business resources, business supplies, gadgets, must-haves, and more, make sure to check out edjconsultinggroup.com backslash resources linked in the description box below. And of course, like this video, subscribe to my channel and turn on those bell notifications so you'll never miss an upload. If you have any video or tutorial requests, make sure to leave them in the comments below. And if you need more assistance, private QuickBooks online coaching or bookkeeping and payroll management, feel free to email or visit edjconsultinggroup.com. My firm is fully inclusive and ready to help you along wherever you may be in your entrepreneurship or personal wealth building journey.